is Bombay, Burma, to tell us why Bombay, Burma should get impacted by strong numbers from Britannia. Varinder is here. Well, you know, in a simple sense, it's a holding company, and a holding company as well as they have their own business. Now, you know, BBTC, as everyone says, it's, it's, it holds 50.75% stake, direct plus indirect, in Britannia. Now, you know, in a simple, simple mathematics terms, if you just see, you know, BBTC market cap is nearly 3,300 crores right now, and the value of Britannia stake is 18,000 crore. They also hold 14.35% stake in, in uh, Bombay Dying, and that will add around 150 crores to that as well. So, you know, market cap of 3300 crores but the value what they have is nearly 18 and a half thousand crores of two entities put together but it is not only a holding company they also have a business of its own you know they have nearly 2800 hectares of tea garden you know they have real estate properties they have landed kanjur mark which is nearly two acres land of Coimtur, which is nearly 4.3 acres they have a midc landed pune which is nearly 18 acres you know standalone also if you have to see numbers you know there's a 70 80 crores sale which this company reports so they have you know businesses in tea auto coffee, you know, and some of the lands which I mentioned. Important point also is that if you just see the long-term debt, standalone debt is nearly 80 crores, but they have current investments of nearly 90 crores. So it's not also, you know, a company which is debt heavy or something. They have been paying consistent dividends. So clearly at even 3,300 crores market cap, you know, you see a huge discount to this company which holds in assets like Britannia, Bombay Dying, and all these real estate investments which I mentioned. I will not be surprised to see this stock moving up to that 52-week high of 600, uh, you know, what it touched earlier as well. And uh, the stock is up some 18% today. All right.